What's up, Niagara? How you doing? Sean Delat here from David's and Delat, and today I would love to introduce my great buddy, my partner in crime, Mr. Terrence Davids. Terrence, welcome to the podcast and uh, the David's and Delat show here with uh, What's Up, Niagara. So, Terry, thanks for joining me. I think what we'd like to first start off with is just uh, letting people know what kind of got yourself as well as myself into real estate as a career. So maybe you can let everyone know why, uh, how you found the path of real estate. Uh, honestly, I think it all started with, with me going to Brock University and with my accounting background and switching to finance and then really not knowing what I was going to do with myself. I can relate to that. So I started looking into, you know, maybe investing into apartment buildings, uh, doing flips, this, this and that sort of thing. And then, you know, I bought my first place, I think when I was 23 or 24, which is a 10 unit apartment building. Great. And then a few other properties after that. And then I thought maybe I decided I should get into real estate considering I was buying so many properties. Um, yeah, so I think I signed up for the course. I think it was 18 months or something like yeah. that. Figured it out over the term. I think I, I, I almost let, let it lapse and had to do it from the beginning. But that was kind of the, the, the mode of why I got into real estate is just because I, I was kind of... You had a crossroads in life yeah. to figure out what could you do. And, and you know what? I can actually relate very much to that. I, uh, I went to university in Carleton took geography there and I was in the same boat left university what's a geographer <laughs> gonna do oh well, you can go to teacher school I'm like I'm kind of done with that so then I actually went to Niagara College took uh, marketing and sales really enjoyed the marketing and sales and then um, my cousin Jerry Hendricks shout out to Jerry Hendricks and the Hendricks real estate team of Hendricks, Niagara what's up? you know <laughs> and, and really honestly I, he he kept asking me to get my real estate license and the same thing as you, Terrence, pondering, wondering what you're going to do in life. I'll never forget. He called me one time. I was renting an apartment on Church Street. I'm sitting on the couch. And that literal day, I'm asking myself, I'm like, what am I going to do? Sure enough, Jerry calls me. Sean, you should get your real estate license. You know what? I think I will. And there you go. From there on, it was uh, amazing. So thanks to Jerry for putting me onto this uh, <coughs> career. And I think, uh, honestly, I think, Terry, we can both acknowledge that we made a really great decision. Absolutely. You know, it's uh, definitely... And it's been nice to do it with you. I appreciate uh, that. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, I think one thing we can kind of touch on a little bit is, you know, obviously you were a standalone agent on your own for a little bit, kind of developed a did the David's team. I was on the Hendrix team, left the Hendrix team, kind of created the Delot team. We came to Remax Niagara. But then the question is, why David's in Delot? You know? Well, I think for us, Sean, we, we, we you and I have a, have a, a long history. Me, me and your sister were pretty good friends. Kimmy, growing up. Absolutely. I think we met in your, your parents' basement. Yeah, yeah, a little party <laughs> back in the day. I met, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was probably about 18. You were probably about 15, four, four, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15 yeah. whatever. And, uh, yeah. So we've known each other for a long time. I mean, we both kind of... Um, had our challenges with our hiccups in life yes yeah. we both probably like to drink a little more than we should and then and, I know I I kicked that habit yeah and, and, then you, I'll and, never... the, and the day that I was prepared to do the same you were there for me and for me that that you know means the world to me and it was one of the main reasons why I feel like our our not only friendship uh, brotherhood, whatever yeah. we want to call it, kind of flourished even more than it. For sure. You know what, buddy? And I, and I really want you to know as much as you appreciate, I appreciate it as well because you need to know that you were helping me when you didn't even know it, right? You know? So, and and uh, I think, honestly, to be honest, I, I know both of us from the past <laughs> and to see where we are today is quite an amazing feat. Uh, I'm sure there's people who know us from the past and they probably shake their head sometimes and go, how can these guys do what they're doing? <laughs> but you know what? I think it's, we, we, we took away one addiction and kind of filled it in with our new addiction of real estate, yeah. you know? And, and that's the truth. I, I is, is one thing is I know when you got into it, you jumped full fledged in, you made a career of this and, and you're not a guy who says no. Yeah. We just work, work, worked 
24 seven. That's all we did. And we changed one thing for another. And, and you know what, but it's, it's made it helped us. us. It did, it yeah. did, you know? And then, so I know we kind of uh, left uh, one brokerage, came to the wonderful Remax Niagara. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Remax Niagara, the best brokerage in the yeah. world. Um, and <laughs> when we left that one brokerage, we both came here standalone teams. Um, and then really, you know, someone asked me last week, like, what, how, how are you and Terrence? And I think what it comes down to um, is that we came here and we actually talked about teaming up just ourselves, keeping our teams, but kind of venturing a little further into Niagara and Lake Market because you've got connections, obviously, with me growing up there. We had connections. So at that point, we, we met up with Little Sherpa, yeah. who is with Jessica Little, who yeah. now actually is, is on board with us with our marketing. our marketing. Yeah. But she did an audit of our businesses. And, you know, I think it just we came to draw the natural conclusion that, well, yeah. why just team up for Niagara? We had a lot of synergies between the two of us. Absolutely. And, and our, you and I, we, you know, we're not ones to... Uh, you know, let our ego get no. get in the way. So you know what? That's one thing for sure. I can speak to this as a great partnership in the sense that you know what? You don't care if I sell more houses. <laughs> I don't care if you sell more houses. At the end of the day, we just as a team we yeah. want to sell, and we want to provide an awesome service for our clients. Hundred percent, right. and we and we will get to the services yeah. and stuff like that. But you know, joining up, and and not only that, the other thing too is that you and I actually have a very like minded when it comes to real estate. Our views on the market and everything, and not only that, how we deal and treat with our clients. You know, I know you go above and beyond. I've always had that thought, you know, like I'm I'm a kind of service. You put the service into the client, and, and not only that, I think we can both say a deal isn't about a commission to us. No. It's about providing the best job we possibly can for our client. If we don't like the deal for our client, We'll let them know. There's no pushing our clients into deals. You know, it's 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 we're we're very service based client first rather than commission. You know, and it's frustrating to see some of the the newer agents or, or just agents out there who really are more into the transaction rather than the cr- client relationship. And I can speak to Davidson a lot as a whole, not just you and myself, but as our team, yeah. we're really all about our clients. So so that's great. So, so yeah, we made this match and it's been perfect because Terrence, we are the number one real estate team in Niagara, <laughs> you know, and uh, you need to hear that sometimes, buddy. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, so anyway, so with that, we, we, we joined up and uh, not only that, I think also too, Terry, we, we, we focused on more creating a great culture amongst our agents as well. You know, it's, that's the one thing that, you know, I see different teams and, and being on teams in the past, culture is important. And I think with what we have, with the team members we have, we have an amazing dynamic. Yeah, we got a you know, good group of guys. Great Gross. group of guys. Gang. A good gang. 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 Good, yeah. Great gang. Yeah. And, and not only that, you know what, they, they do get mentorship from us. But not only that, I find that I actually learn things from them as well. You know, we have got Scott Schweitzer, who has a great vast knowledge of commercial that comes really really handy for us yeah. but not only that Chris Somerfield who's been with us from the beginning who's actually jumped in who's flourishing now but he is a social media master yeah. which is a great asset that we can have to, to lean on so I, I do see that through all the different dynamics of the team members that we have it's just a great thing where we can all lean on each other and help each other right and i think that's the one thing that that we've tried to provide not just for our clients but for our agents yeah. as well is service you know we we we've we've got great admin we've got four admin we've got uh melissa who's kind of deals takes care of myself yeah. and and, and <laughs> did the back end we've got heather who takes care of you working out great we've got kelly who's phenomenal who watches out after the team and then of course we have jessica who kind of facilitates our back end stuff yeah. as far as our crm and our marketing and all that so with all of these things it allows us as agents to 
be effective and efficient and to provide the services better to our clients to be there when so we don't get caught up doing the unnecessary paperwork we, we, appointments they we can, can sell yeah we can sell that's it that's what we're here to do that we're here to sell. So, you know, we, we provide these services to agents and, and it allows us to also provide services to our clients that make us better, you know, and, and through this growth and, and what we've got going on, I think, I'd like to think we've got something really special cooking around here in the Niagara region, you it's know? It's definitely coming together. It is, yeah. it is, slowly but surely, you yeah. know? I, Rome wasn't built in a day, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, we also well. do use um, a coaching, uh, we do do yeah. coaching, uh, team building and and stuff like that and and you know coach coach mike always reminds me that uh you know slow and steady, slow and steady is going to win the race yeah. but we're really hitting the third year now of david's and a lot and sure enough there was a little bit of a world event that caused a little bit of a hiccup but uh i gotta tell you i think through all of this where where we we stayed focused and diligent during the the quarantine time and it's allowed us to come out and rise to the top and and really really be able to take advantage of our kind of exploding market right now yeah. you know while, while i got you Let's talk about the market a little bit, you know, <laughs> and, and, and the exciting things that are kind of happening here in Niagara, because, you know, like I said, we, we've kind of got the same opinions, but a little bit of different opinions on its own. I'll touch to this, obviously, for the, for since 2017, low interest rates, affordable homes, yeah. people from Toronto were coming down. Yeah, retire mainly retiree. Main, thank you. That's yes. a very good point. We we were becoming There's a shift now. There is a, the shift. So actually, why don't you talk about the shift? Yeah, well, I think with now with the COVID and the and the, the pandemic and um, work from home opportunities, work from home opportunities, maybe b big commercial spaces, downsizing, Zoom meetings. People are able to you know go and don't want to get stuck in their fishbowl, seven, eight, nine hundred, uh, eight hundred, a thousand square foot condos downtown toronto they're moving here they want backyards they want townhouses potentially homes Absolutely. that they can go maybe potentially once a once a week to toronto and do their meetings right. if they have to i got it, it there's a mass exodus coming a to max me. exodus and yeah. you know what terry i think we one of our favorite words is home run we love home run deals yeah well for someone moving here from toronto exactly like you said living in their seven eight hundred thousand square foot condo that's probably worth eight hundred thousand dollars yeah is it not a home run? Oh, you can work from home now. Is it not a home run? Sell your eight hundred thousand yeah. dollar condo, buy a North End bungalow between five and six hundred thousand dollars with a backyard, with a driveway, potentially pool, put pool, yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. So you're absolutely correct. This this is a huge trend that we're seeing. Yeah. People are not just moving to Niagara, other suburbs, Brantford, right. Kitchener, London. Yeah. People just want to get, get out, out of the sardine can of Toronto. Yeah. So you know they they talk about a potential second wave or people trying to get ahead of that you know but overall what I'm also feeling too Terrence is a overwhelming excitement because of this change I can already feel things gonna change in our region and one thing I know you've been touching on is is the potential for industry yeah and, and industrial lands is gonna be huge there's gonna be a lot of these big commercial office buildings and like these sub subcontract businesses where manufacturing coming back to Canada. So these little industrial lands that have been that this that the municipalities haven't really been um, allocating lands for. There's a real shortage. I feel with 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 manufacturing coming back to North America. I agree. And you know what? We can both look to Toronto and say how the number one is there even industrial land available and and the land that the, the the existing factories that are available are an arm and a leg. Yeah. They can come to Niagara, yeah. buy a plot of land, build fresh. I know Welland is really, to be honest, of all the munis municipalities in the Niagara region, Welland is at the forefront of it all. Yeah. They, They're I, doing 100% law coverage. Yep. Uh, kudos to Welland. Yeah. I wish other municipalities would follow charges, them. Development charges, breaks on development charges. Absolutely. I wish business. other municipalities yeah. like Niagara There's Falls. Some, some St. Catharines. Yeah. St. Catharines, agreed. Sorry, Walt. Yep, sorry, <laughs> Walt. But you know what? St. Catharines um, needs to lighten up their development fees and, and really get taxed. 
tax friendly to these. Because yeah, what it will incentives to see businesses. It, it, it's it, it's a great opportunity, and hopefully other cities. I mean, I hope we're not talking out of turn. If there are some, but I feel like the stuff that we've encountered through through business that there's been a challenge for some of these b- b- companies coming to Niagara. Absolutely, absolutely. I've I've, I've heard the same. So okay. I, I don't. I've heard the same thing where there's <laughs> other there's been yeah. people who've been looking, but they just feel that you know the development fees and, and the everything. time the the timeline for them to actually get their business operating. I know Angelo had uh, a deal working on that land in Thorold South, the old Dom Tar or something. Yeah. It was 500,000 square feet. Oh, the, no, the old... Recycling uh, plant. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they came to put their, pro- their business there. It was like a two-year wait for them to kind of get through the process. They went and bought something in Guelph and moved there, took their business there. Yeah. They're spending $20 million here. Yeah. It's, 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 it's unfortunate, yeah. and, and, and I agree. I mean, we, we have an opportunity in Niagara to take advantage of some of these these things, and hopefully the cities do really start looking at that loosening yeah. up a little bit because I think... It's a bonus that, you know, jobs can, can bring jobs. We've got new residents coming. Mm. It creates growth, tax base, everything. I mean, in the it's a long term picture, yeah. but it's going to be a win win for everybody yeah. in the end. Because I mean, I don't know about you, Terrence, but I am truly passionate about Niagara. Niagara is home. Yeah. Uh, eventually, I may own a vacation home somewhere else, but I will always have a place here in Niagara. I love it. It's my favorite place in the world. Um, and you know what? It, there's numerous factors. The proximity to, to borders and different things like that. But not only that, our climate. We really don't have to worry about natural disasters. Hey, we got to go through a Canadian winter. Oh, well, that's fine. You know, so overall, lots of great <laughs> things here in Niagara. And, and, and I'm glad to glad that, you know, Unfortunately, COVID has done some changes <laughs> and shaken things up, but uh, but I think there will be, uh, in the end, once it's all said and done, I think there'll be yes. some really significant, great things that do come of it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, out of out of one thing comes another. So so that's great. Um, so with with our team that we've now created, Terrence, and we're we're motoring along here, uh, we are looking to grow. Right, we are definitely looking to grow. Um, we definitely we're looking to grow strategically, though. Very strategically, we want yeah. good quality agents who are like minded like us, who are, are willing to work, but also who want business. We have a lot of leads that um, you know sometimes can't be fully managed, and we we find that um, you know with an agent who may have been in the business a little bit, with the business they already have, with the leads that we have, we can have really help agents propel and rocket their career. Not only that, through the mentorship of us, uh, through our coaching with the Tom Ferry program, and through um, you know through the various services that we're able to provide them, um, I think we have a lot to offer agents, you know? So definitely if there's any agents out there who are feeling a little stuck, um, whether you've just got your real estate license. have a coffee with us. We're always open to coffee, you know, have a talk. Tea, whatever. Coffee, tea, Coca-Cola Classic. We won't drink with you. We don't, yes, yes. We will not have a glass of wine or a beer or a nice old school Ryan Coke, but uh, we definitely will share a coffee or a tea or a coke so yes anyone out there listening who is is thinking of getting their real estate license or is currently licensed looking for a change we have a lot to offer yeah a lot to offer and please don't hesitate to contact us at all um you know speaking of of some of the trends and different things we've talked about our niagara real estate market um you know and and the, the the hustle and bustle of people moving here you know what i think terrence it's time to have a real conversation for our Niagara residents to really actually prepare them. Because one thing I'm noticing, and and we can both speak to it, we've lived here our whole lives. For someone living in Niagara right now and just watching the value of a house continue to go up, it becomes a hard pill to swallow. And it's almost uh, to the point where to them it's unrealistic because they've lived here for their whole life and they're like, oh my goodness. We we didn't have much growth at all. We had zero. zero. And we were a relatively, you know, I started yeah. back selling real estate in 2002. We were 2 to 3% increase in the market a year. Barely. When I sold yeah. the first time home buyer a home, they were basically selling it to pay the commission yeah. and, and take yeah. their down two, payment out years. to put Go it ahead. back, yeah. you know. And now people could buy a house in a year 
and sell it for potentially forty, fifty thousand dollars more. That's a commission. You know, and and what I'm I'm kind of noticing for myself, it, it's harder for the local people because of all these multiple offer situations that we're dealing with. The out of towners have no problem paying whatever it takes Sorry, to get what are they the doing? house. The thunder. They bring the thunder. The out of towners <laughs> definitely do bring the thunder. But also too, Terrence, I think we can agree our local buyers that choose to work with David's and Delon can also bring the thunder by some proper coaching and talking and to really get the true grits and reality of what's going on. Like for the Niagara for the Niagara buyer or homeowner who thinks that, oh my goodness, this is crazy, this can't maintain in Niagara, the real reality is it can and it will. Prime example, I, th- I brought, you know, Kim's moving back, my sister yeah. Kim's moving back to Niagara now too, living in Hamilton. I'm not going to disclose what she purchased her house for. She doubled up. She, she, she doubled, if not almost tripled, tripled. her money. She yeah. bought her house six years ago in Hamilton, downtown Hamilton, up and coming area. Sold it just last and she week. she didn't put a ton of money into it, did she? She did some fix-ups, but not a heck of a lot. Maybe, she didn't go do a full gut. No, yeah. maybe, maybe $20,000, yeah. $30,000. Over six rental. years. Over six years. Yeah. Almost, almost tripled her money. Yeah. That's coming here in Niagara. Yeah. That's the reality. So if there's a buyer out there going, oh my goodness, I don't want to pay over the asking and price. these downtown houses, three fifty, four fifty, guys. They will be five fifty, six hundred thousand dollars houses yeah. in in five yeah. years. Yeah, it, it's it's happening. The population of Toronto is so huge, and not to mention too what we talk about here with COVID is, I I would like to positively say that the outlook for um, once travel's open and this is all really said and done, I think immigration is going to start really looking good for Canada as well. I think, you know, we're promoting for people to move here, but I think with the way Canada has handled COVID and the way we dealt with it and just the, the general, I mean, I'm really proud and happy to say to be a Canadian because of the way people have handled things. Um, what's going on south of us is a different story. And that may have a long-term effect on them or who knows, but I, I, I just think that Canada's just looking more and more attractive to people every day. Agreed. So with so the key thing is, with that immigration coming, they're all going to go to Toronto or vac- Vancouver first. It's going to be a, it's going to be a nonstop. Well, and Toronto's always going to have the influx of people moving there, so that demand is always going to be present. 100%. And they always. get settled in Toronto because they got family or whatever there. And then they look, okay, where can I buy a home once they get settled and stuff like that? So the other, the other thing too is, is I always got to touch on this that a lot of people don't realize. And, and, and this, is, this is something that, that we've been shared through with our, our coaching programs and stuff like that is that the late arrival of millennial buyers. The population of millennial buyers is about, the population in the world's approximately 30%. And um, millennials have been late to come to the house buying table. Number one, because they've just gotten careers a little later in life. They may have honestly been a little coddled by mom and dad a little more Still in life. Still a little coddled. Still a little coddled. And there's a lot of assistance from mom and dad too. So Un- unfortunately, structures, this kind of ge- that that kind of stuff. Hundred so percent. They're going to be big, big purchasers. They will. They're going to be coming out. Whether whether some of them have gotten careers but then again too not only that with what's going on because of covid it's going to drive more millennials which is great news for families to start coming back to niagara because i don't know you know what man i I gotta tell you halloween's i remember halloween's growing up okay it was kids everywhere you it was crazy and now you have a hard time finding a house to knock on the door sometimes it's you're walking by you know i'll go out with isabella we got to walk by eight houses to finally get a door for someone who's participating. And, and not only that, like, you know, I remember at our house, we, we had probably a hundred kids at our door. Now we don't, we don't have many. So I, I, like I said, I just, I think what we're the main focus here for, for what I want people to draw from is a lot of positivity that great things are happening, but also to, to prepare yourself that what's going on here is going to be a thing to stay. So if you are, looking at buying a home you got to prepare yourself don't wait don't wait and if there's the multiple offer situations get in touch with a good trustworthy agent who will help guide you through the process 
I know on Davidson's a lot, we're very well versed with the process. So if anyone out there is, is looking to buy a home and just ever wants to have a conversation, we'd be more than happy to to chat. But, you know, I think it's it's very important that they, they understand the, the true dynamics of kind of what's going on in our region, for sure. <laughs> um, so we've touched on our market. We've touched on the great things about Davids and Delot. You know, again, just really want to push that service first to our clients and the agents working for us. Um, and anything new and exciting going on in your life, Terrence? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's always there's always tons of excitement in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Do you care to share? Sure. <laughs> Sure. I'll be having a daughter in the end of October. Yeah. That is fantastic so be, news. Be number three for me. Number three. That's fantastic. Very, very and, excited. And, 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 and yesterday we were joking around about the new David's uh, family bus. You <laughs> yeah, know, you had to expand to a little bit of a bigger family car, <laughs> you know. Right. And, and Not uh, a minivan. I got to tell you, buddy. Uh, no, not a minivan. Yeah, I yeah, know. SUVs is the way to go. But I got to tell you, I'm very, very excited for you. Yeah. And I'm very excited to see you pull into the Remax office in the David's family van <laughs> and see all the kiddos in the back seat. Yeah. So just really want to congratulate yeah, thank you, you on that and, and wishing you the best. And I know you've actually moved to Font Hill. Yeah. So look out, Font Hill. We're really excited. We're coming to We're your coming. market soon. That's right. Absolutely. When David's and lot moves to a certain place, we love to entrench ourselves in that community. That's right. And so we're looking for great things for, for Font Hill. And, um, and and not only that, just the rest of Niagara as a whole. You know, we we really do not just service one area in Niagara. We are a Niagara-based team, whether you live in Fort Erie, Port Colborne, St. Catharines, Welland, Lincoln, Grimsby. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, Font Hill. We got you covered. Niagara yeah. is our home. We know the Niagara in the market. Terrence, how long have you actually been selling real estate now? 10 years? 10 11 years. 11 years? I, I think yeah, I've probably been a little more oh, than that. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Or oh, eight or oh, nine. Oh, then you're almost 12, 13 years. Well, what is it now? 20 or 20? To, to 2020, yeah. So 12 years. And it's funny. That's that's how much we love real estate. We don't even pay attention yeah. to how long we've been in it. You just, just do it. By. We just <laughs> do it, you know, because I think, honestly, I got my license in 2000, 2002, and uh, next year will be pretty much... 20 years man two decades and it, it, we were talking about way back when we chose to choose our path in real estate did I even ever think I'd be ever doing anything for 20 years in my life and you no. know what I, I am I am I know you're passionate about this I'm passionate about this and I love this new team dynamic it's kind of offered a little shift into our businesses giving us a little shake up and I'm looking forward to doing this for another 10 to 20 years that's yeah, for sure absolutely. you know and just only keep... if you're there with me buddy absolutely absolutely <laughs> no we're there we're there to the we're, we're there to the end Davidson's a lot buddy is going to be a brand to be remembered for sure so well listen you know what I know you're a busy guy Appreciate you taking out the time from your business schedule to share with all the Davids and Delot peeps out there. Um, so really appreciate joining What's Up Niagara. And we always invite people to check out www.davidsanddelot.com, our website, and also subscribe to our Spotify and as well as our YouTube. So thank you very much.